Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back from Simulator 22, Bad Boy Farming, Car Lot Edition. We're getting this car lot going. Just going back over to the helicopter from last night where we parked down. We're going to fly ourselves back. Got some stuff to do today. We got to work on this field. We got stuff to do. It's going to be a good day. We got the corn harvested. We got the soybean car harvested. We need to get some. Hey, Jesse Cleary, number one today. It has been a while since you were number one, if ever. Congratulations, Jesse. Nice job. Vaxi, hey, Vaxi, how you doing? Welcome back, buddy. Good to see you. So we got to get some sugar in. We got to get some grapes in. We got stuff to do. Uh, I think we're actually going to plant a grape field and sugar today. We might be able to. No, we can't. We can't. It's not the right season. Calypso made it. Hey, Calypso, nice to see you. So yeah, we got a. We're actually what we're thinking about doing is this field over here with this uh, cotton. Thinking about buying it. I'm thinking about buying these two fields right here and combining them together. Uh, I don't know if it's uh, conducive. Or not. We'll set to see. You have a question? What's your question, buddy? What's your question? Yeah, the cotton is ready to harvest. We can actually harvest this cotton right now. That's not a bad idea. And then this field just needs to be plowed. Yeah. Uh, it's canola. It's withered. They didn't. They didn't do the farm. So we can cut out this line right here and make this one big field and plant sugarcane. It's not a bad idea. How are we looking at on the uh, scale? Uh, there's nothing we can plant except for poplar, which I'm not going to do. All the harvesting is done. Man, I, I feel like we're doing good catching up. So that means we're going to have to get some coffee going. We're going to have to get some alcohol too. Let's get some alcohol going, and then we're, let's harvest this. Let's harvest this cotton field. Even though we can't really do anything with it yet, let's harvest it. Um, that's a good idea. So let's go ahead and uh, take the helicopter to the shop. Uh, let's buy these two fields really fast. Did you do the book of the King Chronicles? I did the first one, and I'll be doing the second one once I'm done with Daughter of the Deep. Uh, your cat from Helipads on the screen sleeping. What a cute, what a cute application. That's cool. I like it. I like it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to buy these two plots of land, even though we can't really do anything with it yet. Let's just get it done. And we'll also um, harvest this cotton. So let's buy this. And let's buy this. All right, that's good. So then let's go to the shop. And we're going to get that going. We also got to get a plow. We need a plow. Mr. Plow. That's my name. That name again is Mr. Plow. Azumi! Azumi made it. How you doing? I ain't heard from you very much. I kind of miss talking to you, Azumi. Where you been? Working. Working. Working on erections. Being an erection specialist with my little teeny tiny girl hands. You need it now? Um, well, as soon as I'm done with uh, Daughter of the Deep, then I'll, I'll take care of it. Because that is the next book on my list. I have the book. It's actually a foot in front of me on my table. The second book of the Crank Kane Chronicles called The Throne of Fire, and that is next. That is the next book, so you're in luck. It'll be soon. Boop. All right, so we got to go ahead and get um. We do we have a tractor? I think we have a tractor, right? Do we have a tractor? Yes, because we have a sound job, so we have to have a tractor out. So let's uh tab over to that really fast. Where's that guy at? Why's my tab working slow? Let's go. Okay, that's this one right here. All right, so we have a sowing job that we don't care about. We're going to drive this one down to the shop, and we're going to get a plow. Um, I don't know if we're, I think we're going to just buy a plow. I think we should just buy one. Uh, I haven't heard from you. What do you mean you're cooking too for you? What? English, Zumi, English. Oh, Super Snipes made it. Hey, Super Snipes, welcome back, buddy. Dom, how are you today? Hey, Clipso, Jesse. Can't forget the pretty Zoomy. Hope you're all okay. Uh, and I haven't heard from you. What you mean? You're cooked for me? <laughs> uh, hi, Snipes. Hey, Snipes. Hope you're doing well. I think Zoomy's drunk. She's talking like she's drunk. How many chapters are in there in the reading that you're doing? I, I think I'm about halfway through Daughter of the Deep. About halfway through. I didn't read today. I'm really not feeling good today, guys. I wasn't even going to stream. I was going to take a day off. I do need a day off. Um, I was going to do it today. I, I kind of really feel like I just need a day. So that's actually my segue into what's going to happen next. I think this is only going to be an hour-long stream today, and then that's it. Because I didn't read Daughter of the Deep today. 
I wanted to give you guys something, though, because I'm very dedicated to you guys. I'm very dedicated to doing these streams for you. I'm dedicated to doing this every day at the same time. So I did want to at least give you guys an hour today. Um, but this might be my only stream today. Um, I don't know. I might come back. I, I do got to go shopping. I got to go grocery shopping. So I might go grocery shopping and then come back and do an hour of the medieval game. I'm not sure, but I've been streaming every single day since September. No breaks. No days off for hours a day. And I, I just every now and then I just do need to just take a day off. So that might be today even though I am streaming. I might I might stop early. I don't know. I'm not sure. All right. So for this we're going to get a big plow. We need a big plow for our fields cuz we got a lot of fields now. So this is 1.5, 5.7. I see a 5.7. There's a 6. There's not very many huge plows in this game. So we'll probably get this one right here. I don't like the way it looks, but if it works, it works, right? I know it's your last day, Clip, so I'm sorry. I can't wait for you to come back with all your cool stories, though. I'm excited to hear them. Uh, you wish you were drunk? <laughs> nice. Um, this is 75. Let's just buy this. Actually, let's not. Let's not. I'm going to go ahead. I had a plan. Let's check our... Um, this is our culty plow. Remember this thing? It's our cultivator slash plow. I like that, and it's on sale for $57,000. It's got a big spread on it. It doesn't plow, though. It plows and cultivates. So it, it'll end up cultivating, not just plowing. We might want to get this. I think we'll buy this. I think this is nice. It's 12 feet across. Pretty sure that's what we want. Let's buy this. Okay. And then let's get a cotton. Let's run to cotton machine. Cotton technology. Here we go. Um, we're only going to rent it. I'm not buying this, so I'm not going to get the big one. Let's rent this. $24,000 just to rent it. Jeez. Well, that's what we need. Is what we need. So we're going to rent it. And let's go do some cotton. Uh, yeah, good. Thanks. Still hurting. How about you, Zumi? Clay business will mess with you. We'll miss you, Calypso. Hey, I hope you're okay soon, dude. I know you've been hurt, but uh, keep us updated on your situation, Snipes. Worried about you, brother. I want you to be okay. All right, let's get the cotton technology. Let's go get this cotton done. And then we'll take the plow back. We're doing some good stuff today. Doing good stuff. It's now uh, November, so it's going to start to get less hectic. No harvesting, no planting to do for a couple months. So we'll be able to concentrate on our tobacco. We'll be able to concentrate on our uh, pallets. We'll be able to concentrate on alcohol. And I'm actually thinking about putting down some alcohol right now. Um, let's something else I was looking to look at. Let's check our buildings. What did we need cinnamon for? Do you guys? Does anybody remember? I keep forgetting what we need cinnamon for. Uh, it's one of these things in here. Brewery. No. Martinis? No. It is. Martinis. Martinis need cinnamon. I don't know why you need cinnamon in a martini. I guess I don't know enough about martinis, but we need cinnamon for that. So we got coffee going. We got cigarettes going. We need grapes. We need lots of grapes and potatoes. Grapes and potatoes and sugar. So it wouldn't help to do any of that right now because we don't have grapes, potatoes, or sugar. <laughs> Uh, Clip says, yeah, I'll miss you, Snipes. Oh, how sweet. Snipes says, I'm not dead down below. I know you're not. I'm glad you're not, brother. I went to the nurse's office today, and they had a funny sign. Laughs. What's the funny sign, Clipso? Tell us about the funny sign while I go do some cotton. This thing's slow, but it's cool looking, ain't it? It's a big old cotton machine. I don't think we're going to get $25,000 worth of cotton, though. I think, uh... This machine costs more than it costs to harvest the little bit of cotton we're going to do. Kind of sad face about that, but it's what we got to do. Uh, how much does cotton cost? And we're not going to do cotton ever. This is just we got to do it because it's what's in the field right now. Cotton is good in September, but that's a couple months ago. It drops in December, so we'd have to do it. We'd have to harvest it now and sell it now. So we have to harvest this cotton and sell it now. I can't forget that. We might be able to do all that today. We might have enough time. 
Uh, I went to the... Oh, yeah, I heard of that one. But we're going to start the cotton. Hopefully we can finish it. That'll be like the big goal of the stream today, is just uh, harvesting all this cotton. Uh, Dom, how often do you skip school? Um, I'm not in school, so I guess either all or none, just depending on how you look at it. I forgot some of the start of it. Sometimes when you tinkle, you leave a little sprinkle. Please kindly clean it up or something like that. Oh, every time you tinkle, you always leave a sprinkle. Kindly please clean it up. Is that what it said? Something along that? It's pretty funny. All right, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll, we'll edge it on this side, and then we'll go up and down the rows. Let's get this thing opened up. See what it looks like opened up. I, I've, I div, I've done cop, cotton on the other stream, so I remember it, but I like it. Cotton's a pretty cool thing. It's unfolded. Let's lower it. Uh, turn on automatic drop is 2. Is it 2 or Z? It's, it's a Z. Now, it's autom automatically going to drop the cotton as it finishes. Oops, back up. My wheels weren't straight. And we'll turn it on with B. And we'll just go straight down this row. There it goes, getting the cotton. Picking the cotton. And we're we're real farmers now. Farming that cotton. There we go. Oh, don't pause. There we go. I was trying to get inside. Look inside here. Yeah, this is just a short little field. This ain't big at all. Holy cow. This is a little guy. It's a little field. Um, When you wish you were in school, did you skip school much? Uh, kind of, sort of. I mean, I went to two different high schools in two different states because uh, my family moved halfway through high school. And at my first high school, I was kind of like uh, more of the emo kind of crowd. I had the big hole. I, this, like seriously, I had hair. Dude, my hair was down to my waist. I didn't realize how at the time how bad that was and how bad it looked. My parents always told me they liked it and people liked it, but it was like not a good look. Honestly, it wasn't. Uh, my hair, I have good hair to grow long, but I wish my parents would have like slapped me sooner and uh, told me don't do that. Um, don't just it's not good. Don't. But they didn't. So I spent my first couple years in my first high school thinking that this is normal, this looks good, and I should keep doing this, and it wasn't. And uh, I don't mean any offense to people who do have long hair. It looked good on me. It really did. Uh, and it, it, was, it was a good look. It just wasn't a look that was the best look for me to have. And I didn't know this right away, of course. And I spent my first couple years thinking, yeah, I got long hair. It looks good. It looked very girly. Like, my hair has a natural curl to it. Not curly, but a natural, like, sweeping wave kind of look to it. So if I was a girl, I'd have like a perfect girl head of hair kind of hair look, kind of. But I was also into wearing like the blue jeans with the holes in the jeans in the knees, but not little holes. They were like giant, huge holes in the knees. So that wasn't good. And then I was wearing, you know, my ACDC t-shirts and my Metallica t-shirts and my Rush t-shirts. And I was more of a meme and it was, it was horrible. I, I thought it was good. Some people liked it. It wasn't good. Hey, meet Zach. Welcome back, buddy. I'm glad you made it. Yeah, exactly. It was, exactly. It was cringe. And it, it took me to learn on my own. I even have pictures. I might show you guys a picture of me when I was in high school. I'm wearing like a Space Jam t-shirt and my hair's all way too long. It looks good. It does. I'm not going to lie. It looks good. But it wasn't the right look for, for life. Let's just say it that way, okay? Um, and I realized this when I got to my new high school and I went to football tryouts and they didn't accept me because of my looks. And then I'm like, I was upset. I was depressed about it. And I decided, you know, I want to play football, but I don't want to get made fun of. I don't want to be judged. And they, they even wouldn't let me play, you know, football because of how I looked. Even though they don't say it, that's how it is. You have to have a look. You don't see too many stoners on the football play field or too many, you know, emo people on the football field, right? Even if they're good at football, it's because they don't have the look, right? So I wanted to have the look because I, I have a natural talent for football. I can throw a football, I can read plays, 
I, I am very, very decent at football. I didn't know that at the time, though. I just knew that it's something that I liked doing, and I'd always done, you know, peewee football, playing football with my friends and, and family, and, you know, going to football camp in the summertime. I just thought it was something people did. I didn't realize I was very good at it because I'd been doing it for so many years. Well, one day what happened is um, I was a little bit skinny, too. So um, the coach is, like, trying to make excuses for me not to play, even though I was pretty good. But... Obviously, you know, the people have prejudices based on looks, which is ridiculous. But the coach tried to say, well, you're too skinny for football. I'm like, I'm throwing the football. I'm the quarterback. I don't need to be good. He's like, yeah, but you need to bulk up. So I'm like, fine. So I started taking weightlifting classes, and I started, you know, trying to bulk up a little bit. It didn't work. But I got muscles for it, but I didn't bulk up. But regardless, um, one of the cheerleaders was like an emo chick, Okay. And she's like, listen, I like your look, but you understand that that's why you're having such a hard time. I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, well, I don't really like wearing a skirt and being a cheerleader, but I do it because I want to be a cheerleader. And um, her name was Lisa, by the way, Lisa Wilmington. Oh, I can't remember how I remember that. But anyway, so me and Lisa became friends quick. And um, she, I, maybe it was the wrong way to teach me, but she taught me that get a freaking haircut, buy some jeans without holes in it, and look like a presentable human being. And I know that's the wrong way to approach it, but it worked. And it's not exactly being something I'm not, it's just sometimes you have to reevaluate your style. It was a style that I liked and worked for me, but not a style that improved my situation and improved my future. You see what I'm saying? Uh, let's see, if you saw what the girls in my school were now, it's so wrong. Show us, Dom. Uh, I was an emo scene kid. I was on the rugby team. Emo kid playing rugby. I spent more time playing Xbox with my friends at house on school. Lol. Was it puppy love, Tom? No, uh, probably. I mean, I wasn't in the right mindset for that kind of thing at that time period in my life. Um, I'm, I'm more hormonal now than I was then by far. But back in those time periods, I was more... My, my family had moved a lot. You know, I'd gone through a lot of you know stuff in my life. And I wasn't myself. And it's hard to date somebody and be with somebody when you're not yourself. Does that make sense? Anyways, so I got a haircut. I changed my clothes. I changed my whole outlook. I mean, I was still the same person. I just gave myself an outer appearance makeover. And I'm telling you, almost overnight things changed. Almost overnight. Like, it took like a few days for people to catch on. Wow, this is him and this is his new look. And it was like kind of like being a new person. And... I got opportunities that I couldn't have had dressing the way I used to dress and how I used to dress. I mean, it's it's sad, but it's true. That's life. And, and it's sad, but perception is reality. If people perceive you as a long-haired, slacking loser, they don't want you to be on their football team. It's a community thing. The community wants to see the clean-cut, well-dressed, well-mannered football players. That's what they want. And I had to fit that image. I don't even know how we got on this subject. You guys are talking about something. <laughs> but yeah, so that's that's when I changed my image. Then I started wearing, you know, you know, t-shirts, but you know, nicer shirts. Usually the white shirt with the black sleeves, or the white shirt with the blue or red sleeves. Uh, but I, that didn't happen until my so my second high school, and my second high school that it was kind of like reinventing yourself kind of thing, and uh, it, it worked. I could still go home and dress and act how I wanted. But then when I was out in public or at school, I was putting on that, you know, persona that, you know, people kind of expected. And I'm not saying it's the right thing to do. You shouldn't change yourself for others. But it, it opened up opportunities for me. It opened up doors for me. It made my life definitely easier and my prospects of a better future easier. Did you have a crush on her? Uh, yeah, I sure did. I sure did. I, I must have. That's how I can still remember her name. <laughs> That's crazy. I can still remember her name, Lisa Wilmington. I don't. I have no idea how I remember that. Uh, apparently, they didn't watch the football movie. Remember the Titans? I, I I can't tell you. I mean, it's 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 being a kid, or being a teenager, and that that's how it is. You know, it's just perception's reality, and sometimes you just have to either accept, or if you want better, you have to change for better. I mean. I always tell people, be who they are, and that's one of the reasons I can accept anybody of who they are because I've been on different sides before. I can see different sides. The main quarterback had ling hair. 
But I mean, you got to be fair though. People can't help prejudices. It's how they're born. It's how they're raised. I'm not saying it's right or saying it's okay, but I am saying that when you go to a football game and you want to see your team win, do you have more hope in seeing the you know the clean cut? you know, well-dressed person get up there and be like, yeah, I'm going to do good for you guys. I'm going to make this good. We're going to be a team. We're going to pull together. Or do you like the one person who just long hair, dirty clothes, holy jeans saying like, yeah, we're supposed to be a team, but you know what? I'll just do it myself. And it's also, football is kind of a conformist kind of thing anyway. If you think about it, you got 25 people all doing the same thing for the same goal. And if you have one person that just completely stands out and is completely different, it doesn't scream team spirit. Uh, am I still in contact with her, like Facebook? No, I haven't heard from her in... Ugh. Ugh. 13 years? <laughs> She's probably got a bunch of kids and married a couple times. I have no idea. You wear dresses... And when someone comments on I'm like, you have a problem with that? <laughs> but I mean, that's just how it is. And also, it's a different time period now than it was back then. The difference between now and 15 years ago is, is black and white. It's a whole different society right now. It's a whole different, you know, thinking. It's a whole different way of being. People don't think and act now that the same way that they did 15 years ago. Absolutely don't. Just reminding Dom that he's old. Cool, thanks. I hope she does not. So hope she does not what this Dom. Lol. Hope she does not what this Dom. Lol. Okay. I'm gonna read that one more time. Snipes. I'm gonna read your comment one more time. Okay. And I want you to see if you can understand what I'm saying. You're the one who wrote the words, by the way. I want you to see if you can understand my repeating of your words. Okay. Here we go. Lol. Hope she does not what? This Dom. Lol. Okay, so, um, Snipes, if you could understand me, more power to you. I'm pretty sure you're the only one that can, if you really can. <laughs> Meat Sack says I'm getting on an age too. It happens, Meat Sack. It, it, it happens. Watch is Dom. Super Snipe. Watch is Dom is not a sentence. Calypso, what did I miss? <laughs> oh, actually, I got a surprise for you guys. Look what they put in the game today. Look at this. They put something in. I was, like, excited to show you guys. Um, look, it's under decorations now. Decorations, I think. Let's find it. should be. Yes. Look what they put in. You guys, this is exciting for me. Decorations, not in the shop. Here, we'll go down the list. I haven't, I haven't even looked at it. I just know they put them in. But look, they put in trucks that you can't use. They got a van, a flatbed truck, a flatbed truck, an old uh, fire truck. I, I don't turn blue. An old school bus. Hold on. Let's, let's, let's actually go somewhere on the map so you guys can see it. But I want to show you guys this. This is my first time going through it also. I just know what it is. Um, this is stuff that we're going to be buying and putting on the car lot. All right, and uh, each one of these, if you guys want these on the car lot, here you go. Check it out, guys. $1 donations. $1 donations puts these on the car lot. So for $1, okay, you can have, I'll show you every, I'll show you them all. There's a bread truck. There's a green flatbed. There's a red flatbed. There's an old fire, uh, uh, yeah, that's a fire truck, an old fire truck. There's an old school bus. There's an old water trunk, tank. That's an old harvester, but that won't go on the car lot. That just won't look right. An old pickup, but that's not all. That's not all. Here we go, right here for your dollar donations. Look at the car. Look at the car. It's an old Honda Civic, I think. Look at this car. Look at this yellow beast. No, these are cars. They're big. They fit in the slots. Here it looks like a, almost like an old Porsche, a European Porsche. 
A red BMW? Oh, that's a Skyline, maybe. A Dodge Dart, I think. Look at all of them. They're car lot cars, guys. They gave us a way to fill up the car lot. Look at all these cars. And every time somebody donates and they want it, actually, it should be a $2 donation. Let's make it a $2 donation. A $2 donation gets you any of these cars. Any of them. And we'll go down the list every time, and I'll show you the cars if you don't know what you want. And we'll go down the list. Look, there's a lot of them, though. So for $2, we can start filling up our car lots. How freaking cool is that? I feel like they're watching my streams now. I feel like because I'm probably the person in the world that has put the most time into this game. I, I, I do. I think I do. I don't think there's literally anybody in the world that's put as much time in this game as I have. I think the devs watch me now, and I think the devs take some of my suggestions. Have you guys noticed that's happened a few times now? There's been a few situations where I said, I wish this would happen, or this would change, or that they would add this. Dude, they put in a dealership after I started at a dealership playthrough. A week after I started my dealership, they put a dealership in here. And now they put in cars for the dealership uh, uh, two weeks after that. Or a week after that. I think the devs watch my stream. I think the devs are watching. So now, now we can fill.